Would you please welcome to the Magic Parlor stage, the Smothers Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> so our movie that we made, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that this, uh, there's, a, there's an evil lady here who cooks the best food. She gave us cookies, and I don't eat cookies, so I ate the whole box. <laughs> He's a magician of comedy because he has no material for 35 years, nothing to say, and he's still getting laughs. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. <David. laughs> you remembered my name! <laughs> I'm Tom, you're the dick. <laughs> it's very hard being a dick. <laughs> I mean, difficult. <laughs> the ability to keep people's attention without content, to keep people's attention to uh, what one is saying, is the gift of, that some politicians have, some charismatic people have. Sometimes there's not much content, but rhythm. <laughs> It's very important because each of us has a special place in our heart to listen to something that might be important. Hoping beyond hope. <laughs> He's not funny, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Prophets are never appreciated in their own time. <laughs> and pass away. <laughs> but just as an example, I will do some magic stuff. I have a trick while you're thinking of something to save your ass. I've already. I want to see some of the material. All right, here we go. I was just in the midst of doing something magic. Oh, I thought it was just uh, okay. thinking or thinking of something to do. I'm always thinking of something to do. That's something you don't do. Be spontaneous. <laughs> What I did wasn't magic, but it seemed like it did. <laughs> that is why so many people in the world pay attention to people with no content. Why the world is in such trouble, because someone can stand up and keep your attention and you think we're getting information. So if there's any lesson we have to share here, it's just because we get your attention, make sure that there is something in the teacup of life. That's the problem is you need to be disciplined. You have no, no consideration for people's time. You come up here with no material whatsoever. This is late. This is Lucille Ball, Lucy Fest. Quality, see? Now maybe you're just to show how good she was because she had material. You're standing in her nothing. Did she ever do the fork trick? <laughs> she didn't have to have a fork trick. I mean, I can't believe it. But the problem with my brother, I hope you know that our relationship with disagreement is told. My brother was an older brother. He was never disciplined. I still it, am an older brother. You are. You were never disciplined. You needed discipline. And so, because when you when you run amok in line, I was caned as a you, you were. You <laughs> I cannot believe the king the first. Now wait, wait. wait. <laughs> the other way. My Tommy king. reads the paper occasionally. And he reads about what is the guy in Singapore was that it? Singapore gets cane, so now you're cane. All of a sudden, after after all these years, you remember you were cane. I've never heard of cane. Show us. Tommy. To repress memory. <laughs> you and Roseanne Barr have repressed memories. You know? I was keen by Roseanne, Roseanne Barr. Barr. That's it. she held the canes too. <laughs> There's some magic here to be done yeah. and uh, I just could do a couple of yo-yo tricks and you can mention them out in the I was going to do my, uh, my, uh, my handkerchief trick but I guess I won't do it. Too. I don't think so. No. <laughs> 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 That's all right. <laughs> okay, uh, did anybody see the show tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody think the yo-yo man who's not here, this is Tom who does some of the tricks the yo-yo man does, he does some different tricks. Uh, do a different trick. Uh, we've seen that. That Actually, the flying saucer is a string adjustment trick. It's a very fine nuance, because flip it to the left. That loosens the twist of the yo-yo string and makes it... That is called... <laughs> lack of consideration oh, for... 
much. <laughs> well, if you can't get it up. <laughs> Tommy does believe in the in, in the punishment. If you do something wrong, does anybody here th thinks what you're calling criminals? Does anybody have to we should be a little bit tougher on people not, today. I think we do. I think he's a good example of lack of discipline. Don't you think? <laughs> Spare the rod and spoil the horse. <laughs> something like that. That is called. And we've done that. Do something new like spaghetti. Eating spaghetti. S spaghetti. Spaghetti with sauce on it. Okay, that's it for us. There's a there's some uh, young. Uh, I, uh, probably younger than us for sure. Uh, magicians here, they're going to... Ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese linking rings, wherein the magician takes eight solid and separate Bessemer steel rings and links them to each and every one. Now, what we're going to do first... Yourself. What we're going to do first is we're going to learn the secret, and the secret is, Tom, that in each and every ring there's a hole that I use, a secret gap and opening that I use to link and unlink them. So I will give one to Tom. Go ahead, look it over. And one to Dick. And Dick, hold it up here like this. I'll show everybody where it is over here. Tom, don't peek. You see, ladies, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. Just take these two rings. Here, here this will do. Take the two rings and uh, step up here just a little bit so we can all see you. <laughs> that way it's over the trap door in case things don't work out. Tom, hold the rings like that in front of you, like a steering wheel, okay? Now put one foot in front of the other and bend at the knee. Because you see, bending your knee like that, Tom, that's called style. Yeah, Tom, because as a magician, you gotta, you got to have lots and lots of style. <laughs> I got style. Just left it in the car, that's all. Okay, now, take the rings. Pass them in a full circle in front of you. Pretend you're the limo driver looking for a parking space. Now, lightly blow on the rings like this. Okay, now, take the rings and pull them apart to show them linked together like this, Tom. Ta-da, go ahead. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, 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 I'm sorry. Don't worry about this, Tom. This can take a while. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait a second here. You know what? I think I got this figured out. I think that Dick is the kind of magician that's better at linking rings together, and that's no good, obviously. Those are already linked. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, while you're trying that, we'll give Dick a chance to put your rings together. Now bear with us, folks, this could take a while. Dick, try and put those rings together while he tries to take... Whoa! <laughs> All right! Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Hold on, we haven't got to the big finale here yet, Tom. I'm going to make you hear out of you yet. But uh, these two are doing it very quietly, so I think they must be using Wayne handed down by that great Indian chief magician named Running Water, first handed down to his two sons, hot and cold. <laughs> I see my career just disintegrating. <laughs> okay, anyway, he said you turn one ring inside out and the other outside in, and the rings melt apart like that. Now, I tell you what, to link the rings together again, we'll just get a real magician to blow on the rings. Go ahead, Dick. Very good. And to unlink the rings, Tom, if you blow on the rings. What about that? You've been chewing on your socks or something there, Tom? Oh, actually, actually, hold on to that, just to say. You know, I, I think that, that this whole audience is full of magicians. I want to see if that's true. What I need you all to do is to say the magic words, Alakazam, and the count of three to link these three rings at one time in midair. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, let's top it up. Let's link all eight rings together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Tom, give me five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> give me ring number five. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, ring number five, six and seven. By the way, Tom, do you know how to make the cross of Siam? Do you know how to make the Siamese cross? Just poke your finger in his eye. <laughs> you can use that one in your act if you want to. 